love how she's mid panic, but still checking her chat. <laughs> Today's video is going to be a short one, but I really wanted to react to it whenever I seen this because I myself has had a, I've had a house fire and it terrifies me. So I can understand the fight or flight mode that they ended up going through whenever their kitchen did catch on fire, but I myself would have never thought to put it out the way that they did. And it is absolutely insane. Her boyfriend genuinely channeled his inner airbender and just touched the fire nation and put that shit out. And I was like... I've never seen anything quite like this. A majority of content that I react to on this channel is quite literally like a fiery car crash. You're driving past it and you just can't help but be nosy and pay attention to it, y'all. So we're going to be diving right into this fiery car crash and it's absolutely insane. Now, this is a streamer. Hey, hi, it's Danny, and she is a from, you can obviously tell, a lingerie type streamer. And in this episode, she's trying to fry pickles. But she's admitted she's never fried anything before, and this leads to a massive grease fire in her kitchen. I've seen my fair share of cooking fires, especially from these live stream channels, and this one by far takes the cake. So let's just dive right into it. <laughs> I'm kind of in shock by it, too. We'll see. I, I really <laughs> only get these games for zombies, but I'm making fried pickles! I'm sorry, I'm not coming for any Valley Girls. Love Trisha Paytas and her accent, but... The, the valley girl accent just tops off the chaos in this video. I'm making fried pickles. Well, I'm... I don't... I think the oil's right. Wait, should it be steaming like that? I have two things to say here real quick. Um, that's, that, that's smoke. That's not steam coming from that pan. And no, it should not be... It should not be smoking. And my second thought of this is... <laughs> I can't shake this feeling that this would be Sniper Wolf today if Evan never faked gameplay for her. I feel like if he never would have faked gameplay for her, her career would have never taken off. And then quite literally, this would be Sniper Wolf just doing lingerie cooking videos and catching shit on fire. Dog shit, too. Dog shit. I did better than this. I had to play better than that. I have two thoughts on this. One, is her boyfriend just playing games in the background? And two, this song randomly came on just in time for the chaos to ensue. I don't like pickles, but I've never fried, had them fried before. Oh, it's gonna be lost. Oh, we'll turn the fan on. Genius! Should I turn the oil down? I don't know anything about this. I've never done this before. Seems to be famous last words. Am I right? Not just that, but I understand your live stream and you want to keep up with the chat. You like you're trying to get your donations, whatever the whatever, you know. But if there was a mass amount of smoke coming from my oil burning on my stove, I think I'd be paying attention to that and not chat. I think I'd be on Google even like, what is this normal? What do I do? But she should have quite literally just Googled how do I fry pickles prior to doing this live stream. And y'all are really going to see why we all seen in the intro, but it's about to get messy. Also, I just want to say this. I had a house fire, so I know my behavior changed after I had that house fire. Now I'm like the fire marshal in this bitch. But I just want to say, I don't think that she has ever had personally a house fire that she went through because if she did, this would be a lot more suspicious with the oil smoking. She would be panicking right now. I don't think she's ever went through a house fire prior to this situation because if she did, like I said, her behavior would be different right now. I've never fried them before. I think the oil might be ready though. Oh, I hate the smell of burning. I don't know if this is a house, but it's kind of giving me apartment vibes. I've lived in my fair share apartments, and in every one of my apartments, this is kind of how the kitchen was laid out. But if I was her neighbor and I seen this, I would have a fair share of words with her. I'd be pissed. What do you mean you hate the smell of burning, yet you're not turning around to check the pot that's about to catch on fire? <laughs> oh, but you hate that smell. Throughout this entire thing, she's just breading her pickles and just not even worried about the mushroom cloud that is forming in the background. Seriously, has anybody ever once in their life said, mm -mm, something smells like it's burning, oh, I hate that smell, and you're not checking it out, you're just walking through your home like, oops, something smells like it's burning. Oh, let me go bread these pickles. Like, you're not gonna check it out. When is the smell of something on fire ever a good thing? I actually hate the smell of deep fryers. Are you burning something? Only a little bit. Bro, what is this? What the fuck is that? Wait! That shit is smoking so much. It's the- Oh my god, Tanner's oh on, on fire! fire! It's on fire! Bro. What do I do? It's fine. You're doing great, sweetie. Just, you're doing great. 
with that said, just keep looking at your chat. Just keep reading the chats coming in because I'm sure somebody in there is a firefighter. But in all seriousness, I would feel pretty helpless in this situation because not only was she completely avoiding the fact that something is about to catch on fire behind her. She even just acknowledged, I hate the smell of burning. <laughs> Your kitchen's about to be up in flames. But then also this man who's with her, I don't know, her boyfriend, I'm assuming, has just been chilling there the entire time and he's in front of her. So if he would just look her direction, he could see the smoke. He can smell it. He's there. And he didn't do nothing either. And now this is the person you're going to have to rely on to put it out. I wonder what he does. Turn it off. Turn it. What the fuck? What do I do? Bro, turn what it do I off. Do? Turn it off. Tanner, hurry up. Tanner, Tanner, turn Tanner, it Tanner, off. Tanner, turn, turn it off. I don't know what to do. She's trying to tell you what to do. Turn it off. <laughs> just turn it off. I know ultimately just turning off the stove won't stop the fire, but it's a start. It's a step in the right direction. Also, I like that he clearly doesn't know what the hell he's doing. And she's just completely trusting the situation. She's seeing him panic while on top of her panicking. And she's just kind of standing on the sidelines like, get it, Tanner. You got this, Tanner. Just just turn it off, Tanner. You're good. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'll be cheering you on, Tanner. Grab it! Grab, 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 grab the Tanner! Grab it! I don't want to be a bad person and laugh at somebody's horror situation. This is obviously very scary, but I've personally never seen two people react so, so badly to, to, to a fire. The fa Just the fact that she sat there for five minutes complaining about the smell of the burning it didn't, she's acting like it just spontaneously combusted, but Missy, ma'am, you've been smelling it. You've been watching it get to this point. And then her boyfriend has the nerve to come on camera, look at this fire and be like, what is it? <laughs> just look at it, Tanner. <laughs> just, just, you're looking at it. It doesn't take the Scooby gang to solve this mystery. Come on, y'all. Everybody, let's say it. Let's say it on three. Let's help Tanner solve this mystery. One, two, three. I said, oh, Lord Jesus, it's a fire. You know, I'll give it to Danny, though. I think she's a good streamer, not because she caught her kitchen on fire and gave us some fire content, but I think because her dedication to her fans is just immaculate. I can't tell you how many times during this whole emergency, mid running away, she'll still check the chat. She's still engaging with them, like 10 out of 10. Oh, my God, Tanner! moment is gonna live rent free in my head for the rest of my life i've never seen anybody see a fire <laughs> i've never seen anybody see a fire and their their means to put it out is by just picking up that fire and throwing it he is a firebender <laughs> i absolutely love the fact that he channeled our ancient ancestors energy for this one and he bent down what is it throws the fire <laughs> funny enough though from this day forward tanner is going to be known as a hero who threw the fire slayed the demon and saved the home i will give them credit okay a lot of people dogged them for having shitty fight or flat responses but when fear takes over a situation we do some stupid shit now given danny's demeanor throughout this entire thing like she literally sat there and complained about a burning smell for five minutes before it caught on fire and she did not once check it or try to fix that you know but then tanner his response completely <laughs> it blew me away i never in the history of time i've been alive ever seen somebody pick up a grease fire and throw it and it puts it out i've never <laughs> god was with them today because i literally don't know how this happened <laughs> i don't know how this happened they are either super blessed or just the luckiest people alive it genuinely could have been a lot worse than this. They could have put water in the oil and that could have just, phew, you know, made things get a little bit more intense there. But fortunately, they didn't. Yes, I'm okay. I just, I'm in shock. I've never, um, I've never caught anything on fire before. He did save it. If I was here by myself, oh my God, it would have all burned down. The whole fucking building would have burned down. I can't do anything by myself anymore. Well, I couldn't even, well, 
No, if you weren't here and I was trying fried pickles, we wouldn't have a place to live. Y'all, I told you Tanner was gonna get that recognition. You're a hero, Tanner. Yes. And I think it's okay to admit our faults. No matter what age you are, you're never too old to accept responsibility. But can you imagine being a grown-ass adult? I don't know, she's probably mid-20s. Admitting. Oh, if I didn't try to fry that pickle. <laughs> if, I, if I tried to fry these pickles and you weren't here, we wouldn't have a place to live. <laughs> darn those pickles. Gosh darn it. This whole situation has been completely unhinged. I feel like we learned a lot um, now, I guess. I don't know. I feel like she learned. She can't fry pickles without burning a house down. And I think that he learned throwing a fire is the best way to put it out. And I hope that he doesn't try to put that to use in the future. <laughs> anyway, our boy Tanner walked away with a hero's badge. A warrior, if you will. Um... This video was interesting. Let me know what you thought about it in the comment section down below and I will catch y'all in the next damn video.